Steve Evans, what is it about this team? Well, they work hard, don't they? You know, they they give everything we've got. You know, I think it's a it's a bit of a different contest tonight. You know, Paul makes eight or nine changes. I think we make seven or eight and seven in the end um, to the start lineups. It's a little bit different. The difference with us and Paul is we've got we've got eighteen. He's got a twenty three group that he can choose from. So we don't really know what we're going to get. To be fair, in, in terms of personnel, so it's very difficult to prepare. So we we picked our team and we went with that. I thought for for the first half we were outstanding. I think we we should have the bed. We should have put to bed. Shouldn't we? we should be three or four ahead. Um, second half come out. Paul makes a change. He makes a second change. They come into the game. They they've had a better spell than us. Um, <laughs> I've got to be careful what I say about Carl Brook, the referee. But how he doesn't see the foul on the edge of their box, <sighs> Carl, come on. Um, and, and to be fair, after that, uh, the transition through from, from the Reading boys just fantastic, great finish, great great timing of the run. So we get no issue with that. And then, then I think it's gone end to end, then either team could could win it. Um, it's a fantastic ball from Dan Sweeney and a, and a great finish. And, and that better class won a, won a cup tie. So, But, you know, for us, it's just it's just another result. And then we get back on the coach and we, we try and get ready for Walsall on Saturday. You said you didn't know what you were going to expect from the players that started, but you must have been really pleased with what you did get. Yes, yeah, so a lot of those boys come on the pitch on Saturday, didn't they? I don't think I've ever had it in my career before where I've made six, six <laughs> substitutions that we did Saturday because of concussion rule, and six of them touched that before it into the net. So it's an incredible statistic. It'll be a quiz, be a quiz question years to come. <laughs> but uh, so quite rightfully, some of them, or most of them, kept the place. Um, I thought Chappie came in and looked very assured as well in goal. Um, and we were able to take the opportunity to, to look at others and then obviously we, we only made ourselves late on because we thought it was going to go to penalties that's why I made the subs because we were putting lads that we know like a penalty onto the pitch as well as trying to retain and keep a shape you know like Max Clark and like of Jake Taylor so um, you know and we'd rather have won it and be heading home now than, than go through the drama of penalties because penalties is never nice for anyone that loses them We spoke about him on Saturday Saxon early what a week he's had yeah, and he's probably 80% fit tonight. He got a, he got such a dead leg from that challenge on Saturday. It's the more you look at it, the more offensive the challenge is. Um, and, and he's he's got the heart the size of a line. He's a kid. Um, we worked hard to get Saxon. It was one of my clubs that wanted him. My assistant manager relationship with Dean Smith helped that, and my relationship with Stuart Webber at at Norwich and 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 Leon and our chairman. We we were into everyone at Norwich, and our chairman was on the phone helping as well. So he's. He's a, he's a player that's got a huge talent, but we, we need to make sure that we manage him properly. Mm. It was a big decision to play him because he wasn't quite 100% fit. But when I met him at the coach today, he says, I want to play and, um, and give me the opportunity to, to start. And that means a lot. He's a, he's, a, he's a boy, but he's got a man's body, a man's physique and a man's attitude. And you left the substitutes till late and you didn't use them all. Were you tempted to put any of the other players on? No, not really. Uh, Luke Norris, I suppose, if we'd have got to... If we had a score and it goes into the four or five minutes added, we'd have brought Luke on because mm. he's he's a superb penalty kick taker and he's a he's been absolutely stunning for us since we walked into the football club. Big character in the dressing room as well. It's, it's brilliant. We've got a, we've got a dressing room of 18, 19 players. That's all we have. Now um, we're trying our best to add to it selectively and improve us. And as I said in the earlier the week, that's the difficulty we have trying to improve that group because they walk so hard. They've got a determination, and I'm and I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them to come back tonight. A lot of teams lose it. Like Sir Reading, when you they go one one, they mm-hmm. brought some experienced players onto the pitch as well in the second half, and that helped their cause. And you're into the second round of the League Cup. <laughs> it's great. Uh, listen, it's you, you, you want to win every game you play. But I was talking to Paul before the game, and we were we we're best of buddies, and um, we speak all the time. And we we're talking before the game, and we both said we, we want to win, but for the right reasons. We've made, we've both made the number of changes we've made. It doesn't mean that who Paul's left out will play Saturday for him, mm. and it don't mean that that we don't look at players who's played tonight thinking you just have to play at Walsall because we had a chalk and cheese against Stockport, don't we? So, um, but really pleased. We'll go back on the coach. We'll go home now nice and quickly. Rest tomorrow, and, um, and back in the Thursday and prepare to go to Walsall. Who are the fun again tonight? They're they're absolutely in stunning form under Flinney. Another another mate. So I look forward to him. The, I'll be here with Lenny. And you look at the players that have performed for you, you've got some problems in team selection now, but uh, nice problems. Yeah, listen, I think if you I think if you pick the team when you've done your research into the opposition, you've you've looked in uh, detail how you want to play, 
then quickly it, it sort of comes into line because you pick up your honesty and integrity. There's too many managers they're not living in a football league because they pick it because they have banter with one because he gets more money than some others and because of different things because the chairman tells them he's got to pick them. I get none of that at Stevens. We we pick the, the the dressing room knows it. We pick it with highest integrity. The boys never knew the team tonight till we named it in the dressing room. And that's the way it'll be at Wilson. Are those Stevenage fans, they've had a good night. Yeah, they were brilliant, weren't they? Yeah. It was especially to get the winner in front of them. Especially for Danny Rose, I thought he covered. I thought it was brilliant when he came on on Saturday. Not many supporters probably gave Rosie the credit he deserved on Saturday, but he wins two massive headers and, mm. and we get the, the penalty mm. and, and we get the winner. So they're two big headers and he's finished tonight, he's fantastic. Well done tonight, Steve. Thank you.